Good morning and welcome to Logan County Breakfast. I'm Brian Cooper. With me is my lovely wife, Lindsay. Good morning. Our Bible start us with our daily devotional. If you would, read with me. And my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Jesus Christ. Philippians 4, 19. Your needs and my riches are a perfect fit. I never meant for you to be self-sufficient. Instead, I designed you to need me not only for your daily bread, but also for, for fulfillment of deep yearnings. I carefully crafted your longings and feelings of incompleteness to point you to me. Therefore, do not try to bury or deny these feelings. Beware also of trying to pacify these longings with lesser gods, people, possessions, power. Come to me in all your neediness, with defenses down and with desire to be blessed. As you spend time in my presence, your deepest longings are fulfilled. Rejoice in your neediness, which enables you to find intimate completion in me. Beautiful as always. Was a good one. So today is Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, we would like to, at this time, extend our appreciation to Parish Christian Center for their remarkable work. PCC runs a food ministry that organizes a food drive every Wednesday. I believe it's every Wednesday. They're able to do this through the generous donations of the kind individuals uh, who go through the food drive, who are participants. I'm sure they accept donations from other folks as well, but um, this is the first of its kind that I've ever seen that they're able to do it once a week. I know. And if you look at the pictures, it's like I've been following it and it's always a good supply of things available for everybody. So. You, you can uh, you can find Paris Christian Center at 109 East Maple Street in Paris. And it's also a blessing to see the number of folks that turn out to volunteer for that cause. Today in the weather, it's going to be cloudy with a chance of thunderstorms developing late in the day. Daytime high around 66. Tonight, cloudy with a possible rain showers and an overnight low around 53. Whose birthday is today? Mm. Let's find out. Deborah Newby. Happy birthday, Debbie. Happy birthday. Today is Deborah's birthday. She lives in Boonville. She's a pre K teacher at Boonville. If you happen to see Deborah today, please wish her a happy birthday. Also, you can submit birthdays to us via Facebook Messenger or by emailing us at contact at Cold Creek Media. Net. It's time for our trivia. It is time for trivia. In Charles Dickens' book, The Christmas Carol, what was the name of Ebenezer Scrooge's first boss? If you know, leave a comment and message us on Facebook or email us at contact at coldcreekmedia.net. As for the answer for yesterday's trivia, we have a uh, super fan. And the reigning champion of the uh, trivia, Justin Goff. Good job. The question was, what Christmas beverage is also known as milk punch? And that is eggnog.
Well, thank you for joining us today. We hope you... Today is oh, the... Oh, we are not done. We're not done. We yeah. are not done. We almost forgot to mention the pep rally. Yes, how can we forget that? You better be putting on your socks and shoes and getting ready to head on to the pep rally to bring on the Bearcats. The sub you know, they're state bound. So the pep rally is at 940. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the whole town's invited. Anybody that wants to come, it's, it will be at the uh, gymnasium and they're gearing up to pe take on the Prescott Curly Wolves tomorrow at noon at War Memorial Stadium. And I did try to wear purple to support, um, but it's making me orange on screen. So if you could uh, just don't pay attention to that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I just had to point that out so you didn't think I'm just naturally orange. I'm not. I'm just wearing purple to support the Bearcats. She's gold. It's purple and gold. Yes. I did this on purpose. Purple you know, and gold. We had this all planned out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to let you know. All right. Well, have a wonderful weekend and a day and everything all in between. We, we, see, we'll he <laughs> we, we hope to see you Monday <laughs> at 8 a.m. Have a great weekend, everybody.